Okay, so there's been a recent update on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, there's been some trouble booting. Uh, you'd often find if you switched on your Pi uh, with whatever operating system you were doing, sometimes it just wouldn't switch the monitor on and then you just have to cycle the power and, and uh, intermittently it would work or not work. Well, that's been fixed now and I'll show you how to do it with an EEPROM update. I'm not using my 8 gig Pi because that's already been updated, but uh, I'm gonna show how to do it on this Raspberry Pi 2 gig model. So if I switch on, and power it up on here. So this is what happens if you start up without anything in it, without a USB stick uh, or without an SD card or anything like that. Uh, it gives you this menu and you can see on the top here uh, Raspberry Pi 4 Model B 2 gig bootloader and it's got the date so January the 16th 2021. So the best operating system to do this update on I would think is Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit, the official software of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, don't use the 64-bit version because that's in beta and uh, there's some things that don't work. I'll show that at the end of the video if you're interested, but I'm going to plug in a USB stick with Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. Now, I don't normally recommend using USB sticks uh, for your operating system, but these Samsung bars are really quite fast and faster than pretty much all the SD cards I've tried. So they're just a convenient way and quite a reasonably priced way of doing it. I'm going to switch over to screen capture now. Okay, so we're in 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS. The best thing to do always would be to update. So let's open a terminal and uh, do sudo apt update. And then sudo apt full upgrade. Okay, so once that's done, restart your Pi and it will come back up like this. And uh, then we need to update the bootloader. And we do that through raspi config. So type in sudo raspi config. And this is a menu that's worth looking through. I wouldn't recommend changing anything you don't know about, but uh, there's all sorts of options in here that you can change. Now, one of the first things to do would be to update. So let's click on that to make sure we've got the latest version of raspi config. which I already have. And then go to advanced options, go down to bootloader version, and go for latest. And hit yes. Hit OK. And then go down to finish. And reboot. So let's check the latest version. So we could have checked by just leaving the USB stick out so it booted without any media in it, but I'm gonna do it another way with terminal. And you're looking for rpi-eprom-update. And here we can see bootloader up to date. Current is uh, Thursday the 18th of March. And if we have a look on the GitHub, this is the official Raspberry Pi GitHub which shows all sorts of updates now, you'll see on here, some of them say stable, some of them say beta, uh, and there might be some other things that they're listed. Now, it looks like just stable and beta. Um, but this version, this one that fixes the, well, as it says here, fix occasional reboot fail on Pi 4, uh, this is dated the 18th of March. And as you just saw in here, we have got the latest version. But if a fix came out and it was a beta version, how would you update to that? Well, what you need to do is change what the Pi is looking for when it updates. So let's minimize this, open a terminal, and type in sudo nano forward slash etc default forward slash rpi dash eprom dash update. And you can see here, this says firmware release status stable. So if you wanted to be on the beta version, you could actually change that to beta. In the case of this, it wouldn't make any difference, but I'll change it anyway. I don't really recommend it because some beta software doesn't work and is in testing, so if it's on your main operating system, it's probably not worth doing. But in the case of a new update that comes through that you really need to fix something, then that might be a reason to do it. So I'm gonna do Control X, yes, enter. And now if we try that again, now you can see it says beta. So that will be looking for the latest version, but as I say, there's no real need to do that uh, if the stable is giving you all that you need. And now that we've had USB boot for quite a while, now this fixes the won't boot scenario, then I think generally we're okay. Now I mentioned before, um, 
about the 64-bit version. So what I'm going to do is just boot into the 64-bit version. So I'm going to shut this down and switch my USB stick. So I'm on 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS, as you can see from the corner here. I put 32 on the desktop wallpaper. So let's take out the 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, actually, I'm going to boot it without anything in there, first of all, uh, because I want to show you that bootloader screen again. So if we, if we go up there, you can see now it's got March the 18th, so the latest bootloader. Now let's pop in the 64-bit version of the software. So in the 64-bit version, uh, if we try and do the same method, so open a terminal and RPI EEPROM update, it does command not found. And it also does command not found for sudo RPI EEPROM update. So it obviously does something slightly different in the 64-bit version. Now you probably could uh, do this fine because uh, you could do sudo raspi dash config uh, and all of this would be exactly the same but I think it's probably safer at this stage just to do it in 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS if you can um, but there's also another way uh, if you get into trouble uh, then if you use Raspberry Pi Imager uh, that has uh, like a fix on there and that updates the EEPROM so uh, if we scroll down here uh, there's bootloader EEPROM configuration uh, and this is something that restores to the factory default setting. So that also should have done this same update to stable anyway. So I suppose you could do that if you want to run 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS. You could, you could use that on the bootloader. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Uh, and I haven't had any issues with boot since this fix. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.